So very good evening to everybody. So today the same topic, perhaps we are trying to continue because I uh, you know that idea. I am trying to give you the merge needed momentum to speak English fluently and confidently. And uh, you guys are getting everything. You have the structures. You have uh, uh, the required vocabulary, but this vocabulary. means the kind of vocabularies that you have already mastered or remembered so far you are not able to recollect so there is something called the fourth dimension of your study pattern that is called the recollection you are not able to recollect it correctly to mane mu kahiyaro odia re kahiyo udesh ho ki apan to anek jinsa mane rakhu chanti but taku thik samay re byavahar kariba taku thik samay recollect kariba said hai pa me and that's why we are in the process of creating a lively atmosphere before you creating uh, just like you know an atmosphere where you can think and speak you can think and speak and this i mean this process is very much called visualization process okay so idea is something called visualization process so uh, this is the part 4 uh, i believe you have already gone through uh, part 3 part 1 and part 2 and uh, after this i am going to uh, have a very good uh, announcement so i request everybody uh, to you know participate the session with uh, that much of uh, enthusiasm because you are going to learn a lot from this okay so i am not going to waste your time let's start immediately i am going to share the screen okay so this is something called today i have line up for you this is called part 4 and what i can say just check it out mm. fine suppose i am going to show you a particular image and you have to tell me what best you can describe it it's a very you know whatever the images i am going to show you that is a very common phenomenon happening every day basis it's not a one day affair some other way it's happening every day okay so what are the process just check it out okay this is a picture like you no know, happens every time when you are at a school even uh, if the few uh, children are at home you can easily find it out what they are doing the first picture and also sometimes we adults do the same things right so why do do like this and in this this is something called you know very distorted face uh, face uh, the facialization is not normal right it's not a normal facial expression if i do like this like this i'll put like this i'll do like this this is not the uh, you know right uh, posture but we still do that and what we call it in english what are we going to call it it happens every day sometimes students quarrel with each other they fight with each other because of this a lot of complaints turn some complaints if as a school teacher you can easily understand so what 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 are, what is the process is called can anybody can tell me Arvind sir, any idea? No sir. Any 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 uh, madams? This happens every time. People are doing. Mary Mathi. The teach. Teaching. Teaching. Teach. Okay. Teach is the you know this is something called teach. Yes, you are right. i mean to say this is something called teach but the problem is here let me tell you the problem is here not uh, you know that's not the uh, but what exactly happens with the boy or girl what exactly happening here what they are doing the process is called teach i am trying to teach somebody okay but uh, more or less you have to describe this is called making phonifaces whenever 
you distort your face or you distort your everything it's not normal okay is it normal it's never normal and it it appears just like a joker like picture right and this is called make funny faces okay this is called make funny faces the entire process is called make funny faces okay so let me give you you know that explanation that's before you just check it out this is something called make funny faces okay teach is the final things you know he's teaching me but this is called make funny faces to make distorted silly or humorous facial expressions to make somebody laugh whenever a joker is doing in a circus you laugh and sometimes it is done as a show of displeasure whenever you are not happy you are doing like, like that but like that you are putting like this you know children whenever they are not happy with somebody they do like this why they do like this it is a kind of displeasure also and also you do to make somebody happy so this is called make funny faces make funny faces with you know uh, make is a verb and funny faces okay so there are so many faces like that you have to put it like this you have to put it like this you have to do like this you have to take your or you bring your tongue out like that you do so this is something called many faces are there so that is called funny faces so make funny faces is the right word you can describe whenever a action like you can say why you are making funny faces at me oh my god he is always making funny faces like that so make funny faces whenever you find like this the face has been distorted it is almost distorted like that you do a lot of things like you no know, because sometimes you, you you are not happy with somebody or you can say you are doing it with the purpose to make somebody happy that means laugh laugh means you will be happy okay so it can be uh, uh, used in two different ways one is this is something called make funny faces now this part is clear for any doubt ask me everybody or put a thumbs up mark again sir again sir okay so whenever i say that make funny faces make funny faces means to teach somebody look teach can happens like you know, some sir was telling sir it is teach teach can happens like that suppose i am sleeping like this somebody will come and put it like this this is called teach me sometimes in the morning it's almost the winter is going to set in okay almost the winter is going to set in so what will happen you know that sometimes suppose you are my batchmate or we are the roommate we are staying in a hostel what will happens they will throw a little bit cold water on me so that is called teaching so teach means like you know that that has come in different way sometimes i can use some slang that also you will be teached so teach is something a different that is a common word let me tell you whenever you say teach teach can happens anyway if i tell something about a family obviously you will get angry that is called teaching sometimes you are looking at me i will look at like that you will also get angry that is called teaching suppose i am putting your head like this suppose you are, you are writing something you are trying to concentrate and i am one of the most wicked person in your class how to do i'll i'll just uh, pull your hair it happens you have once upon a time you are all college students you can check it out by putting like that then you say oh my god why you are doing like this that is called teaching also so teach a very common word but whenever somebody do like this that facial expression like that small kid are doing like this or they are doing they are taking the tongue out like all such thing happens that is called make funny faces to make silly humorous humorous means when you, you laugh it's a humorous statement he is a humorous guy means he always, he always laughs apan dekhi thibe jodak ame comedian ko chan humorous facial expression you do some expression that is facial means of face some expression that make somebody laugh whenever look at look, jokers those who are in films also in films and uh, other things you know johnny liver and other whenever you look at them you started to laugh right or you are uh, in apan jodi odia re mu kahibe tike odia jatra apan dekhibe se jo comedian mane tanko facial to empty kar debe dekhi apan ta dekhila mane hasu lag so that is some called make funny faces they make funny faces or sometimes we dislike something then we do like that 
wow, like that. We put something, a very distorted. Face is not normal. It is some distorted. Suppose, you know, if you say what is distorted, so let me tell you, I have a kerchief at my hand. So this is a normal one. I distorted it. I can put it like this. I can put it like that. So this is called distorted. Okay. So distorted, look, suppose distort, look at the things. It is a, you know, headphone. You know, it has a mic here. Suppose I can put it like this. I can put it like this. I make it distorted or I can put it like this. It, I call it distorted. Distorted means it is not in normal position. Okay. To make some changes, that is called distorted. Okay. Or silly, sometimes it looks very, you know, fully silly like that. Humorous facial expression to make somebody laugh. Whenever somebody looks at you that time, obviously he'll be going to laugh. Or you are doing it to teach somebody because as a displeasure. So you can take an example. Why are you making funny faces at me? Why are you making funny faces at me? Like that you can say. Okay. Yes, Pratik, what do you want to say? Sir, my question is, what is the particular ODM meaning in distorted? Look, distorted means that we can change the shape of the That is called change, changing the shape. It has a regular shape, make it irregular. That is called distorted. Suppose anything, suppose I don't have that thing right now. Okay, take a football. Take a football. So whenever it is air is there inside, when the air is inside is there. So what it is completely, a, it's just like a sphere. But you just take out the, just take out the, I mean air part. So you can put it like yeah. this. This is called a distorted. Now we got it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Got it. So sir. you got it right now. This is something called make funny faces. Now it's clear everybody. It's clear or any doubt? Ask me. Clear, sir. Okay. If it is clear, let me give you the second explanation. Okay. The second, just check it out. This is something called. This is called the second one. And look, look, whatever the examples I'm going to give or giving right now, that happens every day with you. It's not something that you don't know. This happens every day. Look, this is something called you are in a traffic. Obviously, in a traffic, look at the traffic right now. In both the lanes, lane one, lane two. You can call it this one or that one, whatever you call it. So there is heavy traffic. It, it seems there is a blockage somewhere else or there is a hurdle, something like that. Suppose you are in the red car. This is you are in the red car, right? Suppose I am going to call you. Uh, Arvind sir is driving his car. And certainly I'm, at that time, I'm going to, I'm his brother. I'm going to, bro, where are you right now? So what is going to tell? Or what will be your answer, sir? Arvind sir, what will be your answer? Suppose you can say that uh, you, know, you are driving right now and uh, somewhat you are there right now. This is the situation. I'm not going to give you that words, but I can certainly tell, obviously there is a, you are there with a red car. This is our car and you are inside the car right now. And obviously there is a heavy traffic jam. So what you can say? Suppose whenever I'm going to call you, what you will say? What will be your exact answer or what appropriate answer? Any idea? Trap. Yes. Trap. Look, trap is something called we are keeping uh, we are keeping trap to you know trap mosquitoes or you can say ma mouse or mice, right? Mice, mouse, mice. That is called trap. Trap. I mean, what I say, Odia. I mean, what I say, Jonta. I mean, say that trap. Bitter. I mean, ba. I mean, what I mean. Don't you? I mean, what trap? What is that? Agar bossiva. Apna dekhi thundi. Jibo jantu manon ko. I mean, jo jungle hi jiban to. Aniya pani. I mean, whether just they want to eat their flesh. So, I mean, trap. Rokha jai the. Apna ko ghare mat dhoya. Jadi otta dikko parmyan re musang ko sunkhya body hi wala. Apna ko ghare trap rokhi thand. Here it's not a trap. How can you say it's a trap? Sorry? Stock. Yep. It is called stock. What do you mean by stock? You are right. But stock. What do you mean by stock? I want to know that, that word. Yes, you are right, ma'am. Lena, ma'am, you are right. But let me tell you that whenever you stock something, neither you can go forward 
you cannot come backward. That is called stop. Look, I'm, you know, I'm sitting right now. In my backside, you can say this is a big board is there where something has been written or it has been displayed from the computer side. And from the front end also, the computer is there. So I'm stuck right now. I cannot go forward. Look, look at Arvind sir. He's right now in the, uh, you know, a red car. So can he go backward? Impossible. Because there are so many vehicles are there. Can he come forward? Impossible. So that is called stop. So whenever you cannot move forward, you cannot come backward. You are stuck. So how can exactly, what is called stop? But how to use it in, your, in a sentence? Just take it out. This is something called, you have to, you have to say like this. Check it out. Because these are the things that you use every day. And you are not, not able to express yourself. So I think it is very unfortunate. So you should know the daily vocabs. This is called daily vocabs. Every day you are, you know, some other way you cannot say, sir, I never experienced like this. Obviously you have experienced like this. This is something called get stuck or be stuck. Don't worry, I'm going to explain it. First, try to understand. You can use stock with get or with be. Be is a verb, is, am, are. We have already studied. I may have studied this before, but I don't know. Is, am, are, was, where. The be verb, say, I'm a question. And get, got, got. Right? For a present tense, you can use get. For past, because we have to do this. किंबा पूर्वरु थिले आपण भविष्यत रे गुडे ट्राफिक रे एंटी पडी होली आपण जान नाती सो नॉर्मली स्टॉक इज नेवर यूज इन फ्यूचर टाइम राइट सो इट इज ऑलवेज इज अ प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन राइट नाउ सपोज मुक्ति कंसार इज राइट नाउ दे आर इन द ट्राफिक ही कैन से आई एम स्टॉक बी भव बी मींस आम आई आम आई एम स्टॉक एट द ट्राफिक और आई एम स्टॉक इन द ट्राफिक यू कैन से और आई गेट स्टॉक बेसिकली Whenever in the present situation, use be stock. Present situation. If I'll ask you, Muktikan sir, where are you right now? I'm sorry, sir, I cannot attend class. I'm I'm stuck in the traffic at Sahid Nagar or at uh, OMP uh, Katak, like that. I am stuck. Oh my God, I'm stuck right now. What I'll do? Suppose I'm going to give a call to Lina Ma'am. Ma'am, where are you right now? A lot of patients are waiting with their, uh, you know, all the puppies, then mom will tell, sorry, sir, I am stuck in the traffic. I am stuck. But, you know, after that, I did not give anything. Right now, mom comes to the office. Then I say, mom, what happens? So late, 10 or 15 minutes late today. You are supposed to come by 10 o'clock. Then mom will say, I, I got stuck or I was stuck. You can say got stuck or I was stuck. So for past tense, you can use both. For present tense, use be stuck. Be means are, each am, are. As for the he is stock, I am stock, they are stock, you are stock, like that. So it in such a position, be stock or I get stock means you are in such a position or situation where you cannot move forward or you cannot go backward. Man, empty got a situation upon a pohon jai chanti. Upon the kuchin the traffic jo signal ta. Na upon a gu jai peri, na pochu kach peri. Impossible for you. Is it not possible for you? to come uh, to go for go move, move forward or go backward impossible you cannot do, do like this okay so this is something called this is something called okay this is something called get stuck or be stuck i could not reach on time because i was stuck or got stuck in the traffic now it's clear to everybody now it's clear yes sir the next one I want to tell you something. Sir, called. yeah. So present tense get stuck. Look, I mean the key was a hobo. I am not telling that it is not going to happen. But upon a sodala use current to the past tense re upon MP use curry like uh, why uh, money got use current to I got stuck there because you are trying to explain something upon what is to explain current something. And in that particular time, you can say like this, right? And in other way, you can say that in the uh, past tense, they got stock used for because you're trying to, because got stock is used for explanation. Here, no, you are not trying to explain, you are trying to provide an information. Suppose they come to upon office, 
you are you are, I, I am your supervisor or I am your senior boss. You can say, I can ask you, what happens, Mokshikan? You are so late today. Oh, sir, I got stopped. Because you are trying to explain. Anna Gitanku. Jitala apna explanation dao chanthi, apna ka late takko, apna chate got stopped vebhaar kaun. That's pretty good. But whenever you are trying to pass an information, it, what is, you are not trying to give explanation. Apna dharun to, where are you? I am stuck at full. I am stuck. That means, it's a normal action. You cannot do anything. This is a normal thing. Can you take out the traffic? All of a sudden, it's not possible. Something is beyond your control. So it is always used like this. Now it's clear, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. So right now, let me give you the third image of the day. What you can get? Don't, uh, all uh, uh, sisters don't get offensive. This is something I want to, you know, give you some explanation. This is not an offensive picture. This is sometimes happens. What exactly you can check it out? What exactly you can check it out? He's a, you can say he's a bodybuilder, right? Any other things? He's a bodybuilder showing his strength or showing his muscles. That's all, right? Is, it, is there anything else that you can check it out? Nothing. This is bodybuilding and the guy is a bodybuilder and he's showing his, I mean now, he's showing off to the audience. Right now he's in the pedestal. Is trying to swing off. Sometimes you also show off like this. So this is not swing off. Swing off is something else. Here you can say flex the muscles. Flex the muscles. Whenever somebody do like this, sometimes you know in Ramayana, always that uh, Mahavir do like this. This is called flexing the muscles. Okay. So the exact definition. Whenever you see a picture like this, how can you describe? You can say he is flexing the muscles. The bodybuilder is flexing the muscles, like that you have to say. Flexing the muscles. Okay, let me give you that explanation. Are you getting it, everybody? Are you getting? Or any problems? Tell me frankly. Okay, this is called flex once. This is called build builder. No, this is bodybuilder. I put it wrongly. Okay, you can say bodybuilder. Okay, so look, flex once muscle to show your strength or power. Why they are doing like this? Just take it out. Yes, yes, yes. They are showing like this because to show their strength or power. They are powerful. They want to show like this. And sometimes, you know, uh, whenever they are rally in political rally, all the I mean, uh, you know, all the political leaders put hands like this. What is this? This is also called show of power or strength. So this is something called they are flexing the muscles. Suppose I have a fight with uh, Mukti Kansar and Mukti Kansar has already 60 or 70, I mean, friends. They are ready to die for him. And all of a sudden he called everybody and they are in front of him. That, that time I can say, oh, Mukti Kansar is showing his flex or flexing his muscles to me. So it is something called show your power or strength. So that is called flexing one's muscle. Once means yours, mine, everybody, I am flexing my muscle. The bodybuilder is flexing his muscle. She is flexing her muscle. They are flexing their muscles like that. Now it's clear to everybody? It's clear or any doubt? Ask me, you have any doubt, you can ask me. Sir. Yes. Sir, political party, political yes. party is one of them. Yes, political party is one of them. They are one of them. They are one of them. They are one of political rally. Whenever the, uh, the rally happens, there is maybe 5 lakhs, 2 lakhs, 1 lakh, 50,000, 20,000, or 10,000 people will be there. So you can say BJD, BJP or XYZ flex their muscles today. That means they show their power or strength, the support. So you can also do, they flex their muscles. Flex their muscle means show your power and strength. Apano, they can do, just show your power. You can say, in, this is called my power I want to show. That bodybuilder is showing his strength. But suppose apart from you are a political party or you are a mass leader. So you have a lot of people. You, you can support you. 
So whenever you call some, somebody and you are trying to make a rally, so in that particular rally, I can say that he is flexing his muscles today. He is flexing his muscles. That means he is showing his strength, power. The power I see the coach. The strength he has the coach. Strength means also in different way you can also the people's power. You have the support of the people. Now you got it, sir? Sir, sir got it. Okay. Now everybody got it. At least put a thumbs up sign because I don't know, like, no, because uh, I am showing this. So my inter focus is on your, you know, uh, on your, I mean, uh, the screen part. I am not looking at whoever is. So whenever you have any problems, otherwise I should know that you guys are really enjoying. Okay. So the third thing, let me give you another picture. This is another picture before you. Okay, very common side. This is though you cannot see in real life, but in real life or in live, you can, you know, geographic channel or animal planet, you can check it like this. What exactly happening here? This is a tiger and this is a deer. And look at it, it's a stray dog. Also, this is a man. So what they are doing actually, what the tiger is doing? Asuk sir, Arvind sir, everybody, please pick it up. Rajesh sir, Sonu sir, or Thank madam. Sir, Trying for survival. No, they are trying for survival. That's become more philosophical. Kind of upon it, a con the kuchan, the tiger ta con good. Changing, changing, sir. Absolutely. That's the word. What do you mean by change? What do you mean by change? You say change. I'm a coach changing. What do you mean by change? There's a difference between change and follow. Follow means it's just like going with friendly. But whenever you say change, that means with an intention to catch somebody. The tiger is chasing the deer. Why? To catch it. Here, look at the stray dog. Perhaps he was disturbed by this wicked guy. And the stray dog is, you know, chasing this. Why? To just bite. So there will be an end action. The police chief is chasing the robbery team. So whenever you the word change is there, the final, I mean the destination is that how to catch it up. How to catch it up. Okay. So here the tiger has to, here the tiger has to catch it. And here the stray dog has to catch it. After that, it can bite. Right. So this is something called change. They are changing. That's a good word. Okay. So what do you mean by change? Let me give you the explanation before you. This is something called that. Uh, this is an explanation. Check it out. This is called change. Look, every day you are getting a lot of words that is of paramount importance. Of it's very crucial. These these words are very crucial, my friends. Use it appropriately. Okay. Change means to run after or hurry after to catch somebody. You have to run after. You have to hurry after to catch. Look, follow means you are just following. Like, you know, if I say follow him, that means you are not going to catch. You are just trying to, you know, understand what is. You are trying to notice. Upon Suni Tribute, said okay, follow, follow Korea. Follow Kurukila Manekono. Say, you can say that he is trying to notice your activities. Dorontumu upon Ku follow Kurch. Suppose I am going to follow you. So mu upon ko follow kurchi mane kono. So upon ko kuti ki galle kono galle kuti ki ko dukan ko galle ba ko kaise te kothar thale kuti galle se da mark mu kurchi. So that is only for noticing purpose because I am trying to you know have plans for you. Mu kiche plan kurchi ba upon mu target ro chandi. So I am following you. Follow means I am not going to catch you that day. But change means I am going to catch you. That's the difference. So whenever you say Follow, suppose, oh, that guy is following me. That means I'm trying to, you know, just uh, trying to follow you. Just like you, you can say, calf is following the uh, cow. What a bachri guy could follow Kurji. Upon the little chota chua manapon go correct way, upon agaragal is a possible dog. They're following you. It's not about catching, just like friendly. But here, the tiger 
is chasing the i mean the deer why to catch it and after that it will eat the same thing happens for the second picture where a stray dog stray dog mane joda bulla kukura ame kouchanti there are two kind of dog you can say pet pet dog that means you have domesticated it you are keep it as pet and there are some stray dogs those who are roaming outside freely tanku ame kouche bulla kukura kimba stray dogs and the stray dogs a stray dog is chasing that man why perhaps he was utterly disturbed ye bodhe kichi teka teka ta upare pakai dei chi he is chasing him to just bite tanku ta rag thai kon se kaam ode debe like apan janchu so this is something called the word is called chase so whenever try to understand follow just follow friendly friendly way but to chase going to catch you suppose i want to chase somebody that means my intention how to catch you the police team is chasing the robbery team to kon pai police team chase korchi to catch them off tanku dhariya pai so apan jetale jana ko pachhare doudu taku dhariya pai to catch kariya pai dhariya pai seta ko chase boli kwa ji this is called chase now it's clear to everybody is clear the next one i want to show you something uh, also very interesting okay this is for us the last explanation for you what exactly you can check it out and let me tell you these are the things that you know, happens in your life this is not an isolated phenomenon my dear friends these are the things happens in your life some other way maybe happens one month before maybe yesterday like that what exactly happens here can anybody can tell me look or oh, the second picture you it's very you know visible it's very clear also what exactly happens in the second picture ajay sir can you tell me what what exactly you can see sliding mm, okay yeah sliding is okay but let me tell you slide can happen with your body also suppose there is a slopey way suppose like that huh? in a park the children slide themselves slide so slide is a very common one okay but whenever it is a bike it's a vehicle or it is something a bicycle or tricycle whatever it may be whenever it is slide it is called skid try to understand let me tell you slide is okay i don't have any problems with that word slide slide can happen to anything suppose there is a slopey way and you know small children like when you are children so they they play they always put it like that they will slide so slide is a very common thing but whenever you are riding a bicycle you are driving a vehicle whether two wheeler or four wheeler sometimes in a slopey uh, road you always slide and that slide is called skid s k i d okay so look slide is okay mu jemti apan ko kali bodhe yesterday i was telling slutter slutter mane apan jaha ko mari ki khaibe that is called slutter murder mane just to intention and sacrifice mane like you are trying to slaughter somebody but in front of deity then dekho tin ta words you are trying to learn it exactly same way slide is equivalently skid skid jaha slide se almost if you just take it in oriya meaning but its uses is more important you cannot use skid uh, slide here you cannot say i slide my bike no my bike skid skid ta mane apan kor bike ho साइकल हो कि फोर व्हीलर हो आप देखु स्लोपी रास्त कि टर्न जाए ब्रेक अधिक देदेले तो अटोमेटिक स्लाइड कर जाए स्लाइड टाक स्कीड बोली कहके सो लेट मी गिव यू दैट एक्सप्लेनेशन स्विथ यू रईड बिफोर यू आई बिलिव इट से actually skid used for only heavy motor vehicles no even even for even for your uh, i mean it's a car you can use it for your bike also sir why it is for heavy motors suppose you can say 
suppose you are riding a, uh, a you know you are suppose you are, you are driving a bike and there is a slopey way you are trying to put a you know a sudden brake so it slides and that is called skid also my bike skidded and hit a tree so it not necessarily you can use it heavy vehicles there is no explanation like that sir you can use for heavy vehicles but i already inform you sir you can use it for any kind of vehicles it's not limited to heavy vehicles got that it for any doubt प्लास्टर है जो उची तो सही ठीक कौन सा रहा अपना स्कीड कोई भी नहीं यू कैन सेट इट स्कीड तो स्कीड इज अ वेरी कॉमन वर्ड लो वी अपन जब तोड़े मन रखी बे अपन ने देखी बे जो एक्शन ओरिएंटेशन मन रखूं रेडर देन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेशन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेशन अपन कैसे मन रखी मुझे इतने कुछ एक्शन ओरिएंटेशन and that sleep is called skid whether it is heavy vehicles or it is a small vehicles bike anything like that or even a cycle a bicycle you call it so that is also slides and that is something called skid now it's clear sir everybody or any doubt ask me no issues you have any doubt ask me. it's clear or any problem clear sir clear okay so if it is clear what you have learned today my friends today you have learned sir, this slide uh, uh, yes. slide and speed you sir of the slide out dekhun the slide is something it's a common phenomenon sir apan dekhithibe whenever slide happens suppose there is a slopey way people are you know apan the park re dekhithibe in the slope pad achi sede pila mane paraspar se khelanti like you no know, they slide themselves so man nije gadi gadi asanti heri बा आपण गोटे यू नो देयर इज समथिंग आपण ऊपर गोटे जिंस माने खसेया पे चाहंती इट स्लाइड्स तो स्लाइड इज अ वेरी कॉमन वर्ड यू कैन यूज फॉर एनीथिंग बट हियर इट इज रेफर्स टू ए बाइक साइकिल हेवी व्हीकल फोर व्हीलर टेन व्हीलर्स सिक्स व्हीलर जहा भी होची जेतले आपण गाडी टी चले के जाउछंती से समय आपण सडन ब्रेक मारुछंती बा स्लोपी रास्ता अछि तो सेटे कोन होछ एक्चुअली Sometimes it slides. I would say slide type. We are a speed bully guy. That's all. That you know, big difference, small difference. So what do you learn today? You have learned something called chase. Chase means like to purposefully follow somebody to catch. Something called flex the muscles to show your strength or show your support. Make funny faces, make a distorted features and silly like things. Okay. I mean, what a weird question. What is it about? and let me tell you something a skid we are discussing a lot of brainstorming session goes for the last one and something called traffic that is something called i am stuck in the traffic i am stuck right now suppose you are calling me sir what happens no class i am sorry sir i am stuck in the traffic right now i cannot it will take another half an hour so this is all the words every day i am giving some explanations with that much of picture that's happening every day you know life okay this is something called it never it, it, it is not isolated cases this happens every time apan janchan ti eta apan ko life re sadala ho chi every day it happens whatever the things i am going to give you so this is all about uh, the things for uh, today's class and uh, let me you know uh, come with some uh, other explanation okay so uh, i think it is clear whatever the things i have given you it's clear or any doubt yes it's clear clear okay so if it is clear i don't have any 